Hi everybody, welcome back to Nanny's Reborn Nursery. Um, today is Wednesday and it is about one o'clock p.m. that is. Um, we are having some really, really uh, strong winds today. Uh, it rained pretty much all night and today we're getting some really heavy winds. So yeah, um, I think we're under a wind advisory. So. I just thought I would pop in here, and um, I'm by myself today for a little while. I wanted to pop in and make a, a video, and I wanted to answer Suzanne's uh, Valentine's Day tag. Um, first of all, before I do that, um, this is my beautiful, sweet Jaden. He is the um, Darren Asleep Sculpt. Um, and I can't remember the artist's name, but he, um, my dolly artist, um, done him for me. He came from Bountiful Baby. He is a partial silicone baby boy. Um, he has a very, very slightly opened mouth. I can't even get my whole fingernail in there, so he can't take a passy. So, but yeah, that's okay. I don't, Nanny doesn't do a whole, whole lot of passies anyway. But, like I said, I wanted to do a little close change with him today. I'm going to put this uh, little blue knitted outfit on him. This is a new outfit. I've not put this on any of my babies yet. And I thought that with, um, uh, with his dark hair, with Jaden's really dark hair, that... This blue would look very pretty on him. It's got a little hat, too. So, yeah. That's what we're going to try to put on him today. I've got to see what size this is. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering, is will this fit him, actually? I'm thinking it will. He's kind of long. I should get this these things straightened out before I... Before I come out here, I believe it's going to work. We'll find out. We will find out, won't we? But, yeah. Let's see if there's a size inside these little pants. No. No size. I believe I got this blue outfit off of uh, Reborns.com. Uh, as best as I can remember, I did. And there's not a size in it. It's, um, it's one of the Spanish knit outfits so yeah we'll just take this off of this sweet little boy how is everybody today i hope you're doing well um i guess i'm doing pretty good um i slept pretty good last night ollie actually let me sleep a little bit better than what he normally does he likes to um, he likes to just up and decide he needs to go out every few hours <laughs> sometimes. So, but sometimes, I mean, now there's some nights, I mean, he, well, actually for most nights, he, he does fairly well, but he likes to, he likes to stay up and play sometimes. But anyway, off of that, I'm just rambling on anyway, and y'all probably can't understand anything I'm saying, but... For the Valentine's tag for Suzanne at Suzanne's Babies. Um, if you're not subscribed to her channel, first of all, I would like to say pop over and subscribe to her channel. Um, she's been hoping for quite a long time to get to 10,000 subscribers, and I'm pretty sure she's there. Um, but anyway, the first question that we have, while I put these little pants on Jaden, is, are you romantic? Well, let me just tell you, I can be. <laughs> uh, you all may get bored with my answers. <laughs> but yeah, I can be. Um, I can be romantic if and when hubby is romantic. So that kind of sort of answers his questions, his question too. But yeah, I like... Um, me and him both really enjoy sitting and watching um, romantic movies. Um, as I call them chick flicks, um, I guess, I don't know if anybody else 
advertise them that or not. But that's what I call them, and it's just girly movies. That's what chick flicks are. Movies for girls. That fits you good, Jaden. Yeah. But yeah, he, um, my husband is odd uh, about that. You know, it's very unusual for a man to sit and watch chick flicks, girly movies, uh, with his wife. So yeah, or a girlfriend, you know, in some cases, some people aren't married. But um, yeah, we both will sit and watch romantic movies together. And I, I really, I really enjoy that. Uh, with him uh okay that goes back to is your husband romantic um yeah like i said he uh he can be um honestly it's according to what kind of mood he's into um he can be but there are times when he's not so with that being said that's kind of like a yes and no but yeah Okay, so the next question is, your most romantic gift. My most romantic gift, and I have to say this, um, I can't think of anyone that is it would be that could even compare and be any better than this. But that would have to be the day he asked me to marry him, and he gave me my engagement ring. Um, we had went. He let me pick it out. We went to Zales, and um, he let me pick out my own ring, but um, he said, he told me that it was going to be a surprise as to when I got it, and I thought, well, that's just weird, so it's going to be a surprise as to when he's going to ask me to marry him. <laughs> now, he's a farmer. He's a country boy, so he does things a little different um <coughs> excuse me but yeah i'm like well okay so um we dated about six months and that was it <coughs> excuse me i got a my throat's a little dry this morning i should have brought my coffee with me but um yeah he um he said, I'll, he said, you'll find out. And I'm like, well, that's just great. So, several days went by and, <coughs> excuse me, he um, came to pick me up one night and um, we had a date and I got, um, I got up in the truck when he got, um, when he got there to pick me up. Let me stop where I'm at just a minute and Show you all how well this fits him. It fits him to a T. It's perfect. Look how precious. It fits him perfectly. It's got the little bows on the feet. And the little um ribbed. Is that what you call it? Ribbed detail here and here. Can't remember what that's called. But anyway. I am so sorry, you guys. He's got a one of those little plastic tags is in this. We can't have that. Especially not on silicone. No, no. That will not work. I think I found it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I hate those things. Okay, but anyway, so I got it. I climbed up in the truck. Can't remember where we were going. Um, I think we were going to Red Lobster or somewhere like that. And I climbed up in the truck and I scooted over, you know, beside him. Because back then, I always sat in the middle. You know, I basically sat right on top of him. But um, I scooted over and he gave me a kiss. And, you know, hey, how are you doing? You know, we are done our little, our little talk and everything. And he looked at me and he said, well... He just handed me the box, <laughs> the, the ring, the box, and everything. And he said, well, and I just looked at him and I said, well, <laughs> he said, well, will you? And I said, 
Well off what? I, I was not going to let him get by with not, not asking me properly, okay? He said, will you marry me? And I said, well, of course I will. <laughs> So that's how that, that's how that came about. So I just wanted to kind of give you the little background story on that. Look how cute. I would stick a little bit of his dark hair down, but his hair's too short. Isn't that precious? I absolutely love this outfit on him. Oh my goodness. Mwah. He's so cute. I love it. I love it. He's so pretty. He's a beautiful boy. But okay, anyway, that was the answer to that question. So that's my most romantic gift. My worst romantic gift. I'm going to venture to say, <laughs> this was our very first, we got married in April. And our very, may, it might have been our second Christmas. Um, and it could have been the first. I can't really remember for sure. Um, I noticed under the Christmas tree, like a couple of weeks, I'm going to say, um, before Christmas, I noticed under our Christmas tree that there was a wrapped up, um, box. And it was in the shape of a bracelet box, you know, like this way. It was in a bracelet box. And I thought, oh my gosh, I got so excited. I was so happy. Um, and what he had done, he had had his mother to, um, to wrap it for him. And it was under the tree. And Christmas morning, I could not stand it. That gift drove me nuts for two weeks straight. I thought I was going to just croak. <laughs> but Christmas morning, I op that, opened that up. And you know what it was? It was a pair of hair-cutting scissors. <laughs> no joke. No joke. It was not a bracelet. It was not a necklace. It was a pair of hair-cutting scissors. Because I had been cutting his hair for him. Um, I still cut his hair for him, biggest part of the time. And we've been married for... Uh, 36 years now. Yeah, but that's what it was, scissors to cut his hair. I was so devastated and so upset with that man. <laughs> but I don't even really know if he realized that that was in a jewelry box, jewelry gift-giving box, you know, or not. But that is the box they were in, and I was really upset. But that was the most unromantic unthoughtful, <laughs> uncaring, ungiving gift I believe that I've ever received. I, I was devastated. But anyway, off of that. Now, on to the next question. Um, okay, the next one is, um, the mo what is my favorite um, most romantic song? Honestly, I don't have one. Um, I just don't. Um, I'm not good. Now, I know songs when I hear them, but the names of songs, I'm, I'm not all that great at it. Um, I'll tell you this. Elvis Presley done some of the most wonderful, beautiful love songs I've ever heard in my life. So, I'm just going to say Elvis Presley um, on that note because I'll... Just beautiful, beautiful love songs. Um, it just, it just wonderful ones. Okay. Um, romantic film. Okay, there is a movie, and y'all might can help me think of what the name of this movie was. Um, it is a movie, and let's see. My goodness. There was a part of it where uh, this guy, um, and I can't remember, I'm not good at naming actors and actresses names either um where he was using lightning rods and making glass um and he would say <clears throat> he said when they were little kids why would you want to uh, why would you want to marry me for and she said so i can kiss you anytime i want 
and I, that, the name of that movie is on the tip of my tongue, and I cannot for the life of me remember what the name of that movie is. If you all know, drop it in the drop box if you don't mind. Um, but I just, I can't remember. But that's my favorite love movie. That just, <clears throat> it's just my kind of people, my kind of, um, it's not city people movie. It, they're very country. Uh, it's just, I, I, I love the movie. The setting, the scenery, everything. It was just great. Okay, um, let's see here. Have I ever received a Valentine card and didn't know who who had sent it? Um, only in school. Uh, you know, when we used to make, um, we always used to make the little Valentine uh, boxes and make the little slit in the top, like use a shoe box, you know, and everybody put their Valentine in each other's box. Um, yes, I got several that way with no name on them at all. Um, more than likely, chances are the mom just slipped them in the, you know, slipped how many ever the child needed and didn't take the time to write names on them or anything. But, yeah, I've gotten several that way as a child. Um, have I sent Valentine's cards? Yes, absolutely. Um, Valentine's cards as a child and adult. Both. Um, romantic books. Okay, if you know me, all of the all of those who know you, I'm not a reader. Um, I'm ADD. I have attention deficit disorder, and um, I have a very hard time where it might take you um, one or two days to read a book. It would take me at least a week, maybe longer, because I have to. I'll read a paragraph and. Once I finished reading that paragraph, I don't remember what it was about. I, I didn't take, I didn't comprehend it. So I'd have, I'd, ha, I'd have to go back and reread the paragraph to know what it said. It, it just, it's, it's really kind of hard to explain, but it is definitely a, um, it's a disability. Honestly, actually, it's not, it's not an easy thing at all. But anyway, off of that, so I'm not a reader. So romantic books. I wouldn't know. Um, romantic po po poetry, <laughs> not pottery, romantic poetry. Uh, there you have it again. Um, I'm not a reader. So my last question kind of answered my romantic poetry question as well. So I have books, um, special books uh, that's near and dear to my heart, but I've never read them. So yeah. But anyway, uh, that kind of wraps up my um, Dolly um, baby video for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, it might have seemed a little boring to you, but I'm not. I can have a bit of a boring lifestyle. <laughs> I'm not a person who gets out and does a lot. I'm, I'm a homebody. I, I love to be home, and uh, this is my happy place. And um, it's just where I like to be. But anyway, I'm going to get off here and let you ladies go. I hope you enjoyed um, my video today. Uh, God bless you all. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And thank you so, so very much for all of your comments. Um, I try my best nowadays. Uh, I just go through mostly and heart the comments. Unless, you know, unless somebody is asking me a question about something. Something I need to answer. Um, I, I've not... I've gotten to where I don't um, try to keep up even with answering everybody's comments anymore. It's just too much. Um, and if I, when I comment on your channel, you don't have, you don't have to answer me back. You don't have to comment back. Um, I don't want any of us to feel like we have to comment back on anybody's, on what they've said to us. Now, comments help. Definitely comments help. Um, and that's great. I love for people to comment on my videos because I enjoy going through and reading them. But just answering them back, you know, every single time, I just, I don't do that because I just don't really have the time um, to sit and do that all the time. If I did that, I wouldn't get nothing done. But yeah, I'm going to let y'all go. Uh, I'm into this video um, almost 20 minutes, I think, at this point. But I'm going to let you all go. God bless you all. Um, I hope y'all have a beautiful, wonder, uh, wonderful day. And if the wind is blowing where you are, tie yourself down and don't get blown away. <laughs> God bless you all. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.